મને ક્વેશ્ચન આવ્યા છે અમુકના કે વેન વી સે ઓબ્ઝર્વ યોર બ્રેથ વેર શુડ વી ઓબ્ઝર્વ ઇન ધ બોડીમાં ક્યાં થ્રોટ પર નોસ્ટ્રલમાં હાર્ટમાં સ્વાદિસ્તાનમાં રૂટમાં ક્યાં આગળ ખ્યાલ આવ્યો સો એઝ વી બ્રીધ એન યુ નોટ લુકિંગ ફોર ક્યાં ઓબ્ઝર્વ કરવી એઝ લોંગ ઇઝ યુ ઓબ્ઝર્વ સો બ્રેથ તમારી નોસ્ટ્રલમાં જઈને તમારા હાથમાં પકડાઈ ગઈ તમને લાગ્યું ઓ આઈ ફીલ દેટ ગુડ ત્યાંથી અટકી ગયા ને તમને હાર્ટમાં ફીલ થઈ ગુડ સો એઝ યુ બ્રીધ ઇન સી એમ બ્રીધ ઇન એન ઇફ આઈ કનેક્ટેડ વિથ દેટ બ્રીધ ઇન વોચિંગ દેટ્સ ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ let's call observe your breath it doesn't have to be certain place it doesn't have to be um yes gita ma ke che ke nostril par focus karo tame right which is another sadhan che pan ek sthir reva mate na pachi koi ke ke heart ma focus karo e pan ek sadhan che pachi koi ke ke tamari breath lungs ni niche to ame na ja atla ma j re e pan ek awareness che પછી આપણે ઇમેજિન કરીએ ઓલ ધી ટુ રૂટ ચક્રા એ પણ એક સ્થિર રહેવા માટેની સીડી છે કે તમે ઇમ્બેલન્સ ના થઈ જાઓ એટલે જ્યારે બ્રીધ ઇન કરીએ ટુ બ્રીધ ઇન થયું એટલે આપણને બ્રીધ અંદર જતી લાગે છે બોલું છું તો બ્રીધ તો જતી જ રહી છે પણ જ્યારે આપણે કરીએ છીએ ત્યારે બ્રીધ ઇન લાગે છે જેવી અંદર જાય છે ત્યાં સુધી રે ફોકસ ને પછી વિચારો આવી જાય પછી પકડવા જઈએ તો ખબર ના પડે પછી બહાર નીકળી જાય પછી પછી કહી જતું રે વી લોસ્ટ વી આર સ્ટીલ થિંકિંગ બ્રીધિંગ ઇઝ દેર બ્રીધ આઉટ ઇઝ દેર એટલે ફરી પાછા આપણે અંદર જઈશું ને ફરી ફોકસ કરશું ફરી અહીંયા ફીલ થશે ને ફરી અહીંયા ફીલ થશે ફરી અહીંયા પછી પાછું જતું રહેશે ને ફરી વિચારવા જતા રહીશું આ ચાલ્યા કરવાનું પણ તમે બ્રીધ ઇન ની અંદર બ્રેથ itself going in out it's his it is a routine it's always there tame ema adi ne ro pakdi ne ro observe kari ne ro e important ch ille i observe my breath means i watch my breath so watchfulness so jeu prayat watch karyo ane watch karta karta koi thoughts aaya that means it thoughts se tumne disturb karya બહુ સરસ રીતે સમજાવું ખબર છે આપણે કઈ જગ્યાએ જઈએ છીએ ને આપણે કહીએ છીએ પેલા સ્ટેપ પર સ્ટેપ ચડીને ઉપર ચડવા ટ્રાય કરીએ છીએ ને શું કહેવાય એ વખતે ક્લાઇમ્બિંગ કરતા હોય છે ત્યારે એટલું ધ્યાન કેટલું સરસ હોય છે ક્યાં પકડવું કે છટકી ના જવાય પગ ખસી ના જાય રાઈટ સો ક્લાઇમ્બિંગ કરતી વખતે તમે જ્યારે જે કંઈ જગ્યા આપી હોય વોલમાં બધું સ્ટેપ મૂકેલા હોય વોલની અંદર એવા બધા જુદી જુદી જગ્યાના અને તમે આના પર ચડો આના પર ચડો આના પર ચડો અલ્ટિમેટલી ઉપર ચડી જાઓ તો તમારું ફોકસ કેટલું બધું વન પોઈન્ટ રમે પછી એમાંથી નીચેથી કોઈ બૂમ પાડે અલા તે ખાધું અલા ઉભો રે પકડી તમારું ધ્યાન જાય છે ના જાય પડી જાઓ તમે સેમ થિંગ વેન યુ ઓબ્ઝર્વ યોર બ્રેથ તો વચ્ચે જે થોટ્સ આવે થોટ્સમાં ફોકસ જતું રહે તો તમારી બ્રેથ છૂટી જાય બ્રેથ ઇઝ દેર પણ વોચિંગ ઇઝ છૂટી જાય એ બ્રીધિંગ મેડિટેશનમાં આપણે અને બ્રેથવર્ક કહેવાય અને એની આપણે એક સેસન રાખીશું કે હાઉ ટુ મેનેજ દેટ બ્રીધિંગ મેડિટેશન એટલે ઓબ્ઝર્વ યોર બ્રેથ આપણે કહીએ દેટ મીન્સ યુ નોટ જસ્ટ ઓબ્ઝર્વિંગ 
you are absolutely in it watching it with awareness let's try this for 5 5 10 minutes and see how it works okay so comfortable position nyan mudra Open your eyes slowly, slowly. Bring both hands together. Put all energy over. All right, very nice. And this is good for now. But I have. A, I want to give you one question that you guys can work on that. Okay. So the question is, what belief patterns that you can had it from your family? That you need to work on. so any belief pattern that you have from your family you can like inherently you have it it's like you just know that this is what it is or you may be following that or maybe some things that you cannot uh, change yourself in that direction um i want you to work on this this is the root chakra and this is the first question from there okay so slowly slowly we'll going to work on questions like that and you'll know when are you stuck your energy okay so belief patterns for example you might say oh mara ghar ma tau chhu hai and e vuch tamare karu hoy answer it you are unique yourself they were unique their way you are different than anyone So, if you're stuck in a belief pattern, that means you're not living a present. You're living the past. You're not knowing your what is coming. 
because you're only living in a belief patterns. And that's the fundamental questions. People don't want to work on it. Don't even think about it. And they still go on and on and meditate and doing this and that and feeling that they know Atmagnyan, they know everything. Actually, no, it's not true. First step itself is breaking the belief pattern. If my father has done some banking business and if he has, if he has certain idea the way he wants to do it, and if I follow the same banking business, and that's okay. But if I follow exactly the way he believes, you have to make changes there. Because it has to come from you. But, oh... He was the authority figure, my father, oh my God, I can't say anything, he was the best. And that's what I want to do. No. You can learn from it, you can understand from it, but you cannot just stamp it. Because it is their ideas or they're learning from somewhere or they might did not change their own belief patterns, they might coming from somewhere else then they following. Where are you gonna join? So that's a question number one. Once you figure out what belief patterns you are following and working on and thinking about it daily life, daily routine and with your families and friends, once you acknowledge, then see that. That's the second question. After acknowledging that this is the belief pattern that I'm constantly there, it always comes in my mom. My mom will think or my brother will think or what I will do. Those kind of things comes then immediately you want to see that who you validating yourself, the belief pattern, the society, the system, the people. So something came today in my mind, figure out what belief pattern you inherited from your family or you believe that means you are stuck. You're not moving on. When you're not moving on, what the knowledge you will help you. Right? So, and after acknowledging that belief pattern, see that who you actually validating, you, whoever it's coming from who. If I have some belief patterns, understanding in my life that, oh, my father used to do this and I want to be that way. That means I'm validating my own ego. I'm controlling others by doing that, that I'm better than them or my father is the best than them. That means I'm working on the other person just happened to be my father, which is different than me. Of course, is a part of me, but I'm believing them. I'm putting that uh, pressure on the people around me. So that's another control. And the third, I'm satisfied my ego that, oh, wow, this is it. So neither will help me to grow anyway. Does that make sense? So why would I validate? I can acknowledge. So if somebody is good at something and if I acknowledge, that's good enough, but that's not me. That's not even who I want to be. So acknowledge means something that you respect, understand and got it. But that doesn't mean that's what your soul's food is. What we have a fear to move to the unknown. So we just continue what was and what is coming to front of us. We want to mix and a match from the past and coming. So we don't want to go further. We want to bring the past further. We not in the present. We just think that then we will lose the control. People don't believe us or our identity will lose. This is all the answers I gave you already for those questions. Now we work on, figure out, think about it, take your time. 
And once you understand that, you release. I'm going to show you how to release. So first, figure out what the ident um, belief pattern that you feeling it, knowing it, or following, and then acknowledge it, who you validate. And then I'm going to show you how to release that. And after releasing that, what you need to bring more into you in order to, because see, so every day you can validate it, and you can get it. So you can say, I don't know, because I don't have to worry for that. I don't need to worry for that. Then what I'm going to do? That can happen. Putting it something new that you believe. then you will blossom because you have to have your own personal code, no one else. And that is another things that we're gonna work on it. People get the um, benefit of it, uh, whoever actually work on that. And if, if changes happens within you, you feel like um, 24 seven um, valid yourself, that means it's working. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheswara, Guru Sakshat Parabrahma, Tasmai Sri Guru Vev Namah.